periods are awful i mean they really really are i've done a whole separate long video on how horrible and awful my periods are um this isn't what this video is about this video is about the the mechanics the hormones what happens in the menstrual cycle um so if you have horrible periods like me i'm really really sorry There are a large number of different hormones involved in the menstrual cycle. It can get quite complicated to remember what all the letters stand for. But you not only need to know what they stand for, but you need to know where they are produced, where they act and what effect they have. The first one we're going to look at is follicle stimulating hormone, FSH. It is made in the pituitary gland in the brain. It acts on the ovaries and it does two things. It causes an egg to mature. So you can see during the menstrual cycle it is increasing until it reaches a peak. Once it has caused the egg to mature it's not needed anymore so it goes down until it's needed again and goes up. And the second thing it does is it causes the ovaries to start releasing oestrogen. Luteinizing hormone LH is also made in the pituitary gland and it acts on the ovaries. It is around for a very short period of time because it is the trigger for the egg to be released. So it only needs to peak around day 14 of the cycle and then it is not needed anymore. Oestrogen is made in the ovaries and it acts on the pituitary gland. So it will stop FSH production, even though if we look over here, then FSH makes the ovaries release oxygen. Oestrogen. When we get to a high level of oestrogen, that will act on the pituitary gland to stop FSH production and it starts the production of LH. And then progesterone, which is made in the ovaries and is responsible for maintaining the lining of the uterus. So as progesterone increases, so does the lining of the uterus. If there is no implantation, then progesterone levels will fall, the lining of the womb will start to break down, a period will happen and the cycle starts all over again. This graph may look rather complicated, but that's just because it's telling you lots of information. We can see what the ovaries are doing up here, and this little pink blob here is our egg. If we look at that combination with the hormones, you can see that it is growing, it is growing, it is growing. As the FSH levels increase, the egg is maturing, and as the LH levels peak, that is when the egg is going to be released. If no egg is fertilised, it will just fall out, body temperature will go back to normal, progesterone levels will fall, the lining of the uterus will come out and the cycle will start all over again. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.